Hey everybody, uh, here on the Big Island near South Point. Um, started filming the sun today after I caught some of the latest Nibiru stuff on YouTube. And uh, did it a couple different ways. This way you see here was just a straight shot at the sun. And I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing here. So I'm hoping some of you more advanced uh, film users slash uh, photographers can tell me if this is my camera or if this is... Uh, an anomaly or an object behind the sun actually three objects you might be able to see them now um, I'm opening a video render in VLC and I'm going to the video effects and then the colors here and we're gonna play with the image just a little bit so you can see a couple different things of what's going on um, I'm first gonna slide through the video and if you look in this region here also right here and right here uh, you'll see three circles which appear to be planets but like I said it could be a flare from the uh, camera itself and it'll, you'll notice as we progress through this video at the very top here you'll see my iris uh, spot traveling up and down so that's what has me questioning this whole thing I just don't know the other weird thing is why is the Sun concaved like this putting off that type of glare when there were virtually no clouds here at all. I mean, they're a little bit scattered on the bottom this morning at 8 o'clock um, on 8-20-2013. But uh, the whole top part up here had no clouds at all. You can see the rays emitting off from the sun. I don't know if that's due to the recent breakup on the top of the sun or not. But anyways, let's go through the video. Um, as I progress here, you'll notice I'm a little shaky there's my iris popping up, I guess. the People are calling it the iris. Um, you can follow that. So I'm a little shaky. I didn't use the tripod for this one. as was my first take. But as the sun flutters around with my movement, pay attention to those circles. They don't move at all. Okay, so if it was the camera, I'm thinking, damn, it's got to... Um, move along with it like as you see here the sun's moving up and down oh, hold on right there now watch those circles still appear behind the sun but they're not moving someone can explain that to me I'm sure I'm being dumb with my camera and don't know but then again this could be something like I said you can see one here here and here um, let's play with the image a little bit I'm gonna drop the gamma and you can still see the Sun is putting off its glare and lightly see the planet on the left barely see the one on the top barely the one on the right but as I'm moving the camera around <clears throat> I'm thinking those should move with it like I said if somebody can explain that to me that would be great I definitely am at a loss here with the saturation a little bit so you guys get an idea there it is in black and white boom contrast drop that down a little bit I see them they're even kind of colored but they're almost too perfectly round I mean I'm sure planets are to the naked eye at a long distance like this but I've never seen anything like this before, so I'll drop the brightness a little bit. Gamma one more time. All right about there. So we can tolerate looking at this thing. Let's go back to the beginning. I'll slowly slide through it. Now pay attention to those circles because they are not moving. Now if that's clear be very interesting and if somebody <clears throat> like I said can explain the split up here why it's doing that uh, like I said and I heard it broke off on the top and now the fragments are heading this way um, but these are all stories and part of the Nibiru pl slash planet X uh, ordeal that's going around out there so 
any guys that are more advanced than I am that can tell me what the heck this stuff is, I surely would appreciate it. And thanks for watching, guys.